What's up? How are you guys today? Andrew Tate has definitely been the most popular person on all of social media over these past few months, accompanied by his brother, Tristan Tate. Explosion of their online presence has seemingly been from appealing to men by exposing some negative aspects of female behavior, bringing masculinity back. But there have been many groups who have done that before without promoting you know, domestic violence. <laughs> Now, I didn't care enough to talk about this guy because I thought he was funny, uh, but he ended up on Fox News claiming big tech banned him, like classic controlled opposition nonsense. It's kind of funny how stupid they think we are, the masses. Yeah, this guy is banned by big tech, but then is allowed on Fox News? If you're actually canceled, you just get shadow banned, like the TikTok I posted on this guy, or completely deleted not given one of the biggest platforms that exist to grow even further. Little electric, my little plug. Ooh, let, me, let me get my little plug and plug it into my Tesla. Ooh, maybe I can get an erection one day. Is this the man you are? Slap, slap, grab, choke, shut up, bitch, sex. Those things the left try and present, you have to keep things realistic. No. Years ago. Natural selection and evolution would have taken care of all your fucking retard ancestors, but yet here you are standing my face saying you don't eat gluten. Yes, you fucking do. Only a cat owning bitch would complain to the police about a fucking joke. Fine, you're upset you lost your cat. Fair enough, yeah, the joke may have been a little bit, you know, risque. Who calls the police on a fucking joke? Cat owners. Cat owners are liberals. Cat owners believe in hate speech. Cat owners are Democrats. Cat owners are dickheads. You look like a bitch. No, I'm not like these fucking mask wearers. No, you're... I walk into hell and the devil's like, oh, I'm gonna burn you. So you're gonna do shit. I find myself super funny. <laughs> I find myself super funny. Imagine I'm in, I'm in my fucking six liter B12 Aston Martin Vanquish. Gets about 10 miles to the gallon max. I'm sitting there. I'm chilling. There's a traffic jam. No big deal. Whatever. Big Daddy Tate, I can handle it. Someone goes, there's a climate change activist and they blocked the road. What? There's climate change activism, extinction rebellion. Yeah, I'll show you an extinction. You're a fat, ugly sack of shit. To a poor country, no one's depressed. If they have food and their family members are alive, they're all laughing and dancing. Africans ain't even got roofs on their houses. Every time you fucking look at a documentary, they non-stop dancing around. I ain't dancing around like that ever. I'm never that happy. What the fuck are you happy about? I mean, if you're a really good friend, no, not even if you're a friend, you better, if you're my friend, you just can't be a pussy. I had a heart attack, get the fuck up. Those clips aren't just a glimpse of what he's saying. Those short videos specifically propelled him into the spotlight. And what's really suspicious is not only how quickly he's become so popular, some of these clips are from 10, 15 years ago. It's like they were professionally compiled and saved. Plus, he never posted this stuff himself. You know, he grew to fame mostly on TikTok and then has went to the other platforms. But he never had his own TikTok account. So either people working for him or his affiliate marketing gimmick, Hustlers University. So he acts like a rich hotshot who gets all the girls, has an expensive car. One of his catchphrases is, you know, when people insult him, what color is your Bugatti? You have a Bugatti, you have a $5 million, it's, it's... <laughs> I like the color. You like the color? Yeah. Yeah, I had uh, mixed reviews on the color. Some people said they like it, some people said they don't like it, and I said, well, what color is your Bugatti? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck off then. <laughs> but then he tells people, if you pay me $50 a month, I'll teach you how to be the top G. Top G, that's his nickname. This guy's hilarious. Honestly, I think it's very funny. Um, they say they have over 100,000 members on Hustlers University. You do the math. That's five million a month off the bat. Plus, any money he makes off the top of that, if he's selling more stuff internally, if he's doing promotional stuff, I would bet the guy is pulling in 15 to 20 million dollars a month minimum. And obviously, no one is allowed to make that much money on their own. So he's certainly paying a lot of people money. And the guy even mentioned his dad worked for the CIA. Let me tell you something about my father. My father was literally a spy for the CIA, and they used to do insane things that you wouldn't believe, even inside of a coat hanger, 
to buggery. When I was with my father, if he needed your phone number, he'd ask, what's your phone number? And you'd say it once, and that was it for the rest of his life. He didn't have to write it down. You'd tell him an address, that was it for the rest of his life. He never wrote anything down. He never had to repeat anything to him. My father, when he died, someone messaged me who was in, because my father was in the CIA. He held a CIA record for the fastest assimilation of a foreign language. So I won't go too much into that, and I probably shouldn't have even mentioned it, but he said it himself. His own father works with the main agency that controls all of social media to brainwash the masses. The most important thing that he is shedding light on is how many young men are unhappy with both their personal and dating lives, especially compared to their female counterparts who generally have it easier in both aspects, especially dating. Instead of being truthful and logical, most of his clips are insulting and bashing women, implying that you can be some sort of pimp get all the money. He, dude, he literally makes jokes about slapping and cho it's, it's, it's pretty ridiculous that he was allowed to do that without being canceled. But hey, you pay me 50 big bucks in this Hustlers University, you'll get all the money and the girls you want. Now if Andrew Tate had so much money, he wouldn't be plastered on social media selling his Hustlers Club. And if he was getting so many girls, he wouldn't be sliding into the DMs of average American chicks trying to fly them to Europe. Now this girl's actually decent looking, but I saw at least like 15 or 20 TikToks before this that I didn't save of these girls that I wouldn't even ask out getting DM'd by him. Yet Andrew Tate brags all day about how he has a multi-million dollar mansion in Romania surrounded by European baddies. Yeah, is that why you're flying in ugly girls from America? Dude, everyone knows like the prestige of how beautiful Romanian women are. And this guy's clearly not getting any. <laughs> anyway, uh, the truth of this is that both young men and women have lost any sort of morals or old school charm that existed years ago. Yeah, women are having more fun for the most part and their promiscuity is upsetting to men because men have a much harder time getting sex. This is what's being highlighted by the Tate brothers. But they're not telling you, you know, how picky women are or that you're most likely completely wasting your time. They're not giving you a productive answer, they just want your money. So if these guys are being honest, they would basically highlight kind of two categories. One is MGTOW, MGTOW, men going their own way, which has been heavily censored and taken off many platforms. Basically men ignoring women and focusing on themselves, uh, which is very harmful to the economy and women in general, and really just betters men, which is what you know mass media and the government doesn't want. And the second thing is like the red pill like self-improvement, getting money, but he's not telling the truth on either of those fronts, you know? Um, because once people are presented with the actual truth, then all the powers that be lose that power. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. Um, as I said earlier, I, I didn't really wanna make a video on my YouTube on this guy, so I did one on TikTok, then it was just literally shadow banned, so it, you know, it shows how connected this guy is, but we'll see. I'm tired of seeing his face.